Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. I just put ocean down, so it's the perfect time. It's nighttime, unfortunately, but it's the only time I have to film a baby must have. This is like my newborn. Ocean is five months now, so everything that really, really helped me from the moment I brought him home to now, and these are just like my must have items that really, really worked for me. All babies are different you'll find that every baby likes something else. So that's kind of the tricky part about buying all this baby stuff. My best advice right now to you is don't go crazy buying a lot of different things. Because for example, I bought a lot of cute pacifiers, like, oh, these are gonna match his outfits. And then he was like, I don't like pacifiers. And I said, all right then. All right, so baby must-haves, let's get into it. Cannoli, are you ready? Whatever. Cannoli, are you ready? Also, just to mention, my brother is filming this with a light on me because it is dark. Okay, it's dark outside, so it's very like... <laughs> I feel like I'm getting caught on cheaters because the light is that bright. <laughs> I figured we'd start in the kitchen, things that I use for him in the kitchen. <laughs> so this is the Baby Brezza bottle steamer. This is honestly a must for me because it sanitizes them you just throw everything in it's actually sanitizing all his bottles right now obviously some items are very specific to you know either moms who breastfeed or moms who also bottle feed or formula feed right so i had to supplement for formula because i wasn't producing enough milk so that is when i got the baby brezza this is like an, a baby keurig it is so amazing especially in the middle of the night you're exhausted put the bottle in here and you just push the button and it mixes everything for you exact ratios water and formula comes out nice and warm for big temperature yeah yeah <laughs> salut this is like i realize i have a lot of things here a lot of appliances before having a baby i was a no appliances on the counter person now i'm like whatever if you are breastfeeding and also bottle feeding, so you know, you're know you warming up your breast milk for later, this is awesome. This is a bottle warmer from Dr. Brown's. I really love, um, I really love Dr. Brown's products. I, you'll see that I use a lot of uh, things from them, including like the bottles and stuff. So this is really nice, easy, warm up the milk, you're good to go. Sorry if you hear that humming noise, that's actually the bottles being steamed right now. These are the baby bottles that we use. We've tried a bunch of different ones, and honestly, these are just the ones that Ocean preferred. Like, for example, I had this bottle, the Hegan, and the nipple on this, he just wouldn't really take. He took it a couple times, but it wasn't his thing, okay? He wasn't really that into it, so um, Dr. Brown's really worked for us. All right, so we have two sizes. Sometimes it's a little bit more convenient just to have the smaller one. Um, obviously now he's getting bigger. He drinks way more milk. So we've moved up to like Lots of ounces before when he was newborn newborn. It was like this was enough Not anymore and a tip I have that I actually got from a lactation specialist is if you are breastfeeding and You also want to bottle feed whether it be formula or breast milk um, They gave me this really good tip that when they are newborns just like right when you bring them home if it's something you want to do then use a preemie nipple so there are different size nipples for the bottles and that just means how much milk flow comes out of the nipple i had no idea about this but the reason she had mentioned this to me is because if it was so much easier to get milk out of the bottle then the baby might not want to then breastfeed because it could be seen as a, like a little bit harder for them to get the milk so preemie nipple when they are newborn big tip big tip these are also really great i wish i could tell you what these were called i will put it in the edit but these are you put these in the bottle right when you close it up all my all my things are in there right now but this actually helps so they get less air when drinking their milk which makes them less gassy okay so another thing that's a must have and honestly a recommendation from like every mom will say this is like all the Frida baby stuff the Frida baby stuff is the best and this thing is a nose sucker snot sucker 
So it looks kind of interesting and I'm sure you may have seen it. You put the little tube in your baby's nose and then you suck it up, but it doesn't get into your mouth, okay? It has like a little filter, so you're fine. If you feel like weirded out by this, they also have an electrical one, I don't. I feel like once you have your baby, I'm not grossed out by anything of him. Like I just, is that poop in my nail? Huh. Huh. You know, did he pee on my face? He sure did, but it's fine. So this is must, must have because it's, it's really hard to get their boogers out. How are you gonna do it? And I also use the um, Nose Frida na uh, Saline Snot Spray. So if sometimes you need to like soften up the cloggage. So you just give a little and then you suck them up, you're good to go. Next up, we have his nail file. <laughs> this kid's nails grow, he has mom's nails. They grow so fast and I have to file them all the time. This is like a little baby dribble, it's so cute. Look at it, it has his little like, just like when you go to the nail salon. Turn it on, it has his little, little files here and when it touches the skin, it does not hurt at all so you don't have to be worried because I know the thought of clipping newborn nails is so terrifying and this you don't have to worry about clipping them too short it's just the best this is um it is so good like and Ocean doesn't mind it at all like we sit there and I just do his nails and he's chill about it so I love this next up did you fart she thinks I couldn't hear her. I heard that. I heard it. Did y'all hear it? All right. Interrupting my video. Okay. <laughs> so this baby Bjorn is everything. It may not be everything right when you bring the baby home. This cannoli, ma'am. She's swaying that ass. Oh, she has to go outside. Okay, let's let's go. Let's let cannoli out. Come on, come on. Come back. Okay, so this baby Bjorn is everything. I love this because there comes a time, not right when you bring home the baby, obviously that's not something that you're gonna be into, but really, really soon after. So there comes a point where when you want your baby to feel involved in what you're doing. For example, like we cook breakfast on the weekends and we put Ocean in here, he loves this and it has, like an adjuster on the back so you can make it go more upright or lay more flat to where he feels like he's hanging out with us because he's at our level he's just like I don't know like he's chilling with us and it's a little bouncer it's gorgeous it's gorgeous but yeah this is a great little bouncer I'm in love with it it's a little dirty you know as to be expected everything gets dirty it doesn't stay beautiful for long but it's cool because this just comes off you throw it in the wash Good to go. As far as bath time, I'm gonna go ahead and say these are the two bathtubs that I personally have tried. Um, I wish that I had, now let me know in the comments, mom's helping moms here. I wish I knew that if there was one tub that worked really well as a newborn and continued to grow with them. This one kind of grows with them, but I feel like he got really big and just outgrew it really fast, but it was, clutch when he was first born because they're so tiny and you're kind of scared to give him a bath and this one comes with a little net that fits in the tub for when they're newborns this is fisher price and then um once they get bigger you can take the net out and then they just sit in the tub like this ocean has already outgrown this he's like okay this is too small for me so now come over here come on hmm. Now we use this bathtub. He loves this bathtub. And this is like one of my friends recommended me this. So he's in love with it. He either bathes in here now or um, we take baths together, which I love so much. He, oh, taking baths with your baby. There's something special about that. I personally have not showered with him. I'm too scared to hold him in the shower because they're slippery. Babies, they're like seals, man. They're like, you try to lift them up and it's just like, Steven's the only one that's brave enough to do that. Me, I'm like, I'll take a bath with him. And then I use this. This is the Munchkin Sit and Soak Bathtub. What I like about this also is that it has a drain in the bottom so you don't have to like pour the tub out. You just, I usually give him baths in the kitchen. That's why it's here, he just had a bath. So I just kind of turn it into the sink and then 
let the water out while I go dress him and everything. All right, let's move on to the other parts of the house. But don't look at my mess either. Honestly, ever since having a baby, my house is a mess and I'm okay with it. Honestly, I gave into it. I'm like, it's fine. There's things everywhere, random things everywhere. Let Mira, that chancla. Why is it here? It's a cute ass chancla though, huh? This is from Song of Style, if you guys are interested. I don't know why there's only one here, but there it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. This right here. I don't know why these always come off. That does kind of bother me, but you know what? You can't, can't win them all. Can't win them all. Charlie likes to steal them. So this swing right here, I'm telling you guys, listen, are you listening to me? This swing right here, by far more superior than any swing. I don't care. I said what I said. There's really, really expensive swings. Like the Mama Roo was really expensive. And here's the thing about about the Mama Roo. For me personally, Ocean did not like it. He was like, no. And that could be different. I hear moms tell me that they their babies loved the Mama Roo. I don't think I've ever heard personally, I'm not saying it doesn't exist, but no mom has ever said that their baby did not like this swing. This is Fisher Price, okay? Get it at Target. Like, even, and I know this doesn't make it valid, but literally all the celebrities with like, all the money in the world. This is what I see in the background of their house. Every single time, this swing. I was like, but this is it. This is comfortable, like, it instantly soothes him. He loves playing with these. Like, there's a mirror up here that he looks at himself in. It plays music. It's just, it is a little bit wide, you know? It's a little bit of like a, it takes up space, but honestly, I'll take it, because he loves this swing. I feel like your baby might like this, but who knows? Again, I don't know your baby. I don't know. Okay, so next, and it's over here just chilling, okay, because we use this all the time. This little mat, I don't know, don't ask me where the rest of the toys went that hang on here. I couldn't tell you. Charlie. There's, they're somewhere around the house, but Ocean really loves this one. They have different kinds. They This one was a gift, and um, you can get them at like, you can get them at Bye Bye Baby, but this one's really nice. It has like this nice cushiony little cloud pillow. So when they're really, really small, especially, you can just kind of lay their heads here and then they play with all the toys. This sound literally is like embedded in my brain. <laughs> right, Favorite. Marky? You, you understand, right? Like yeah. how many times? It only plays that song. If I would say anything, it's like, could you put some more music? Download more music to the MP3, please. <laughs> Like that's the only thing I'll say about it. When you want to put your baby down for a second and get them like doing tummy time and everything, this is really great. They think this place is haunted. <laughs> Check it. Okay. okay. So, don't mind my setup here. This is, are we still cool? Yeah. Okay. Don't mind my setup here. Um, this is actually a filming studio thing because right now, currently, we are still not in our master bedroom. So we have this like setup makeshift down here. This is a wipe warmer and this is a nice to have. However, for some babies, it is a must have, okay? I have friends who their babies So I have friends who some babies like the cold wipes, no way. They will scream and cry and the warm wipes are better. Thankfully, Ocean doesn't really care either way, I've realized, but it's just nice that they're all warm. And I've seen other people's videos say that theirs dry out in this. I've literally never had that happen to me, ever. Like, they're always nice and wet. I use water wipes. Um, and occasionally we'll switch it up depending on who goes to the store and just grabs whatever, but water wipes are usually what I use. And then the diaper genie. Another controversial, do you need it or not? Some people hate this thing. I've seen some videos where people are like, the diaper genie. But I like it, like where are y'all putting your diapers? Like when you're in the middle of the night and you change a poopy diaper, where are you putting it if you don't have, and you know, I'm not saying Diaper Genie is the end-all, be-all to like 
a diaper trash can because there's so many options. It's the, it's the one that I tried, so clearly, you know, it's the one I have. But I'm just saying any diaper trash can in general, like, get one. That's what I think because it's just nice. I guess it's a nice to have because you, technically you could just put your diapers in a trash bag, but like for me personally, I've never had a, I've never had it be stinky. Like it stays, like, I don't know. Somebody told me that they're like, it's gonna smell. It hasn't smelled yet. Granted, I've only had it for five months. So who knows? Maybe the stench comes later. Like, I don't know, but we wrap the diapers really well and like down the hatch and we take the trash out like frequently. So, okay, so these lights are so great. These are Casper lights. What I love about these is, wow, what did you wake up the light next to? Say you have one of them by your nightstand and you put the other one, which I don't, right now I'm just showing you, the other one's right there, but let's just say for example, you put that one by um, your bottle station or wherever else you need light. If I wake up in the middle of the night, I'm gonna turn the lights off. You just go like this and it turns on the other light wherever it is in the house. So you don't have to turn on any lights to see what you're doing. You just flip it over and you know that the other light is lit somewhere and I think that's so awesome. You can also dim them if you want and like you know, make them less bright or more bright, whatever it is, and then again, boom. Isn't that cool? You know, so you can have one on your nightstand and then also have one in your baby's nursery so that you know when you walk into your baby's nursery there's a little bit of light for you to see, but it's not like crazy. So if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen how cute the closet was. It was so organized. It's not anymore, okay? It is messy AF. And that's fine. That's just who I am now, okay? So here's the thing. Let's talk about onesies, what you should get for your baby. Obviously, I have different things here now because he's outgrown a lot of the things that we've had for him. But if I could give anyone advice on what to buy, no buttons. Don't buy buttons. Everyone will tell you not to buy buttons and you'll see something cute on Instagram. You'll be like, oh my gosh, it's so cute though. And then, you, no, no, it's such a waste of money, time. Nobody wants to do that. I like the onesies that zip from the foot up and also from the neck down. So you have an option to go either way. Like a few, there's a few brands that I really, really love. Um. Do I have the hype baby here? Okay, so this is Posh Peanut. So soft, their material is so nice. Again, zipper in the bottom, zipper on the top. This is key. If you're buying something for your homegirl who's about to have a baby, don't get her buttons unless you secretly don't like her, okay? These zippers, nothing else. Newborns are literally not gonna wear anything else. And some babies in the newborn stage grow out of it really fast and sometimes you'll pop out a really big baby and they won't even fit into newborn stuff. So less is more, like have enough to get you by but don't overbuy before baby gets here. That's huge advice, don't overbuy. It's, get, it's, it's very exciting. So I understand, especially when you're a first time parent, you get so excited to buy baby clothes and I'm not gonna tell you not to do that because it's part of the thrill, but if you don't want to waste money, that's the advice I have. Okay, Kite Baby. These are like, Kite Baby is also one of my favorite um, onesie brands. Oh my gosh, the material again, it's like Posh Peanut, really soft, slinky, like stretchy. Burt's Bees, Burt's Bees, also like this material is soft. <sighs> Why did I think I needed like 500 swaddles, like these kinds? They're blankets now. I don't swaddle him in this. I don't have the patience to swaddle him in these, but if you're going to buy swaddles, the muslin ones, which is this type of swaddle, is my favorite. And from what a lot of you said in the DMs, it's also your favorite as well. Um, this one's from the Little Unicorn. 
I just think these are the best ones. There's different types of material, but the muslin ones, those are the winners if you're choosing to buy swaddles. They're also so light and breathable, so they're great to cover up when you're, you know, if you're in public and you want to cover up when you're breastfeeding. I'm all about freeing the nipple, but you know, some people look at you crazy, which I think is crazy. But uh, these are just great, multi-purpose. I use them for blankets now. I don't swaddle ocean in these very often. I recommend Velcro swaddles. They're just easier. The snoo comes with the Velcro swaddle that I typically use because it goes with the snoo. Um, but there's all types of Velcro swaddles. Like this is the one that he's upgraded to now, large. He's a big boy now. Um, so it's from the happiest baby. Uh, there's all types of swaddles. I'm not really the expert here, but I do know that the ones that are already ready for you to go and you just like strap them in are so much easier than these. All right, so I'm gonna finish off the rest of my items here on the couch because they are in the room with Ocean and I don't wanna wake him up. The snoo, let's talk about the snoo. Everyone talks about the snoo. It is a bassinet that is said to be just like the most amazing thing ever and it's also very, very pricey. So a lot of people wanna know, is it worth the money, is it not? So for some parents, a snoo is like an absolute must have and I've seen other parents say that, you know, it's whatever. So I think that comes down to the baby and what the baby prefers. So I think you're gonna hear mixed reviews on this, but for us, the snoo really, really works. Ocean likes it, he sleeps really well in it. Right now he's not sleeping well. We're going through like a bit of a, you know, he wants to be awake because he's like starting to teethe. So right now is not a good time for me. However, m before this time, he slept really well in it and it's just, you know, really nice. In the States, you can actually rent a snoo, which is great. So if you're thinking about buying a snoo, I would kind of like, if you're in the States, I would probably rent it because Ocean is five months now. That time went by like that. And I'm assuming, don't quote me, but around six-ish months, is that when you start putting the baby in the crib? Like he's gonna go to his crib pretty soon. Um, and then, you know, he's gonna stop using the snoo. So, it's kind of up to you what you feel is worth it, right? Like, it's a very short, I would rent it. I would rent it if you can. Um, I think it's worth it. I think it's great. But then again, that's because my son really likes it. So what else could I say about it? The Halo, that's also a good option. We also have the Halo. This is a really great option as well because What's great about the halo is that it actually comes down so you can put it right by your bed and if you're breastfeeding, you can kind of just roll over and just um, put the side down and grab the baby really easily. It's just like easy access to them and you can just swaddle them in there and I think that's also a really nice option. So baby monitor, we use the Miku and I really like this one because it tracks his vitals and um, his heart, like all that stuff without actually being attached to him gives you peace of mind because I'm telling you when you first bring home your baby, you're like, hello, are you breathing? Like it's every two seconds. It's very stressful. It was very stressful for me. But um, so the Miku tracks all of that. I can open it. I see his, I not only see him, but I also see like his vitals. So I know that he's good. And if for some reason something's abnormal, it'll set the alarm off on my phone. Um, so that's really, really great. There's one thing I forgot to say earlier when we were talking about onesies, and that is if you are a mom who is thinking about getting mittens because you don't want your baby to scratch themselves, don't. I mean, do whatever you want, obviously. <laughs> but personally, I never use the mittens. They just, I didn't. And at the end of the day, I actually really didn't want him to wear mittens because I felt like he developed better motor skills not having them on, right? He learned how to like use his hands and if he scratches himself here and there, it's really not that bad. He does scratch himself every now and then, but it's like tiny little scratches. And I prefer that he learns to like grab things and you know, but practices motor skills. But if for some reason you do actually from time to time want your baby to have mittens, then I really like the onesies that have rollover mittens. So 
they actually are built in and you can actually put them on or not. It's so great because that way they're built into your onesies. You can barely tell they're there when they're not on and you don't have to worry about losing them because I'm telling you, you're going to lose all your socks. You're going to lose all your mittens. You're going to have one of everything. I have one chunk less sitting over there. You see, I'm even losing my shit. So another thing that's really great is the Frida baby humidifier. Um, it just helps him sleep. It's really great so that the air is not too dry. I always have that in the room going. You gotta set the ambiance, you know, when you put your baby to bed. Maybe that's helpful if I talk about that. The ambiance, okay? So when you walk in to put your baby down, you wanna have the humidifier going, like the air is right, you know? The temperature is right. Then you wanna have the sound machine, the hatch, Again, that's a nice to have. You could use any sound machine. You could use your phone if you want to, to be honest. And a lot of the baby monitors come with music. The Miku comes with music, so you don't need to also have the hatch. That's why the hatch for me is a more nice to have. But if you don't have those, you know, you wanna have some type of environmental noise, white noise, that works really well. That's pretty much it. All right, so that's pretty much everything. Again, that is not everything that I would use, but those are the things that when my friends are calling me and asking me for a list of things that they have to get, those are the things that I highly, highly recommend to them. Um, there's so many other baby things. You don't need it all. Don't stress out. You can always shop as you go. You don't need everything at once. That's something that I wish I would have learned prior or done less of because you know, then you have all this clutter in your house of things that you might necessarily not really need. So just calm down, get excited, do buy things that are ridiculous for fun. Do buy those little sneakers that you know the baby's not gonna wear, but you just like are a first time mom and you're so excited to see your baby in sneakers even though they don't need sneakers because they don't walk. Do those things for yourself, okay? There's some things that are worth it, even though they're unnecessary. But these are my must-have lists. I hope you guys enjoyed. And again, if there's anything that was a must-have for you that I didn't mention, put them in the comments below because there were so many great suggestions in my Instagram survey that I took. And I know there's a lot of new moms looking at these comments, seeing what they should get. So put it all in the comments. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Hello, popping in to say that I forgot something on my list. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say this is on nice to have not must have for some people it's a must have but I think you can definitely do without it again because you know your baby might grow out of it pretty quickly but it is nice to have somewhere to set your baby down like a dock a thought for example that is really helpful for me I take the dock a thought with me when I'm giving him a bath and then I put him in there to like you know I put the towel over it, I put him in there, like when we're on the couch hanging out, like when, especially when he was a newborn, I would set him in there um, so I could just put him down somewhere knowing that he wasn't going to like, you know, roll over anywhere. So just had to add that in really quick. Bye.